Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video where we are going to go over how you define your live or driven tools on a Herco live, to live tool lathe. Uh, this is going to be very similar to any other tools that you've probably already set up uh, with just a few differences. Through the next few videos, we're going to be walking through how you would program this particular part on your Herco live tool lathe. And so in this video, we're just going to show you how to define those tools in the WinMax software. To start with, we're just going to go into our tool setup, just like you would with any other tool. And we're going to define four different tools for this particular part. Uh, the first one we want to define is a half inch uh, axial end mill. We're going to use that to be doing the, the face work on this particular part. Uh, so I'm going to choose tool number four for this. <clears throat> Once we choose a tool number, you're going to notice the type field. If you're on a live tool lathe, we'll have a few options that you may not be familiar with. Uh, everything that's down below this end mill is now a live tool lathe option. <clears throat> you want to be careful when selecting your tools. You'll notice that there are a few tools where we have live versions of previously existing tools as well, such as the drill, where you can choose a static drill or a driven drill. Anything that is selected that has the word live in front of it, the machine is assuming this is in a live or driven holder. Anything that does not have the word live, that is going to assume that's in a static holder or boring block or something else on the lathe. Uh, you will notice there are a few tools that are actually live tools that don't have the word live. That just meant there was not a previous tool for that before the live tool lathe. Uh, such as end mill, which is what we're going to choose here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select end mill. <clears throat> Once you do this, it's going to open up this area here where we're going to kind of define what type of live end mill we are working with here. Right now the control is a little confused about what type of tool we want to set up. You'll notice it's got two different selections down here for radial and axial we need to go into our geometry offsets to tell it if this is a radial or axial tool. So to do that, I'm just going to select geometry offsets. We'll go into our orientation. And depending on if you are working with a axial or radial tool, it's going to determine what you set here. So in this case, I want an axial tool. I want to come in with that tool on the face of the part. So to do that, I'm going to choose this orientation right here. <clears throat> While I'm in the geometry offsets, I'm going to go ahead and in my radius field, give it the radius of the cutter. I want a half inch diameter cutter, so I'm going to give it a quarter inch radius here in the radius field. Now when I exit out of my geometry offsets, you'll now see that tool number four is an end mill, <clears throat> it's a half inch diameter, and it is an axial cutter. The control knows, now knows what type of tool we are trying to use here. While I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and set up some speeds and feeds that we'll use in the program. <clears throat> and we'll give it a length of the tool. So that's the first tool we're going to utilize in this program. I also want to set up a 3 8 axial end mill as well. I'll make that tool number six. Again, I'm just going to select the type of tool, end mill in this case, uh, tell it what the orientation is of this tool. So I'll go into my geometry offsets, orientation for axial tool. Still going to choose this orientation. And I want to use a 3 8 end mill. So we'll put in the point 1875 for the radius. <clears throat> now when I go back, you can see we have a 3 8 end mill that is an axial tool. Go ahead and enter some speeds and feeds while we're here. And we'll give it uh, a tool length, which will help out with the graphics. Uh, now that tool should be good to use for programming. I'm also going to need to use a couple different radial tools. Uh, a radial tool is anything that's going to come in on the diameter of the part. 
Uh, so for this particular program, I'm going to use a half inch radial end mill as well, uh, as well as a quarter inch radial live drill. So I'm going to start with the end mill. <clears throat> Go ahead and set up tool number eight. Again, I'm just simply going to choose end mill. <clears throat> You'll see here that it already knows this is a radial drill. It just means that at some point in, in time, we've probably used this as a, a, a radial drill. If I needed to set that, I'm just go into your geometry offsets, orientation, and choose that orientation for your radial live tools. <clears throat> Again, a half inch end mill, so I'm going to give it the quarter inch radius. And I'll exit back out and give it some speeds and feeds for this half inch radial end mill. And we'll give it a tool length as well. So tool number eight is now a radial half inch end mill. Uh, we had, just have one more tool we need to set up, and that'll be, you'll, or we will use tool number 10, and we're just going to use a radial drill. <clears throat> so in this case here, when it comes time for the type, I want to make sure I don't choose drill, which is your standard static drill. Instead, I want to go down to the live drill that sits a little lower on the list. <clears throat> Right now, this is saying it's an axial drill. Well, I need to set up a, a radial drill. So I'm going to go into my geometry offsets and change that orientation to be a radial orientation. <clears throat> and I want a quarter inch overall diameter on this drill. So we'll give it a eighth inch radius. Give it some speeds and feeds as well. Give it a, uh, a length and as well as a, a drill tip angle for that drill as well. <clears throat> so now you can see tool number 10 is now a driven or live drill uh, that is, is radial. So we now have all the tools set up that we're going to need for the uh, previous videos, or I'm sorry, the, the coming videos. So be sure to check them out and see how we put them to use. Thank you.